Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GU Refrigerator Ice Cube Stripper. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new Ice Cube Stripper. The Ice Cube Stripper is mounted on the ice maker. The main reason you be changing it out is if it's cracked or damaged. In order to get to the part, we have to open up the freezer door. Now that we have the door open, we can take the ice bucket out. All you have to do is lift up on it and then pull it out and you can set it aside. Now that we have the ice bucket out, we have access to the ice maker. It's located on the left wall of the freezer. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to remove the lower screw and then we can loosen the upper two screws enough so we can lift the ice maker off. Once you have the two upper screws loose, you can carefully lift the ice maker up and off the screws. And then we can make sure that the fill tube comes out of the end. We can rotate it over a little bit and we can reach in and disconnect the wire harness from the wall. Once you have it unplugged, you can pull it out of the freezer. In order to get the ice stripper off the ice maker, it's held in by a little locking tab right here. We're just going to use a flathead screwdriver to carefully flex it up. Once you have it flexed, so this is past the little tab right here, you can pull it off the pin on this end. And then as it comes forward, you can pull it off the ice maker. Here's the old ice stripper next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new ice stripper onto the ice maker, we have to make sure that this pin goes into the hole right here. Once you have that in place, we're going to flex it in the middle and kind of bow it. And then we have to put this little locking tab into the ice maker head right here. Once you have that lined up, you can let it go so it snaps in place. And you want to make sure that this locking tab is behind the tab again. Once you have it installed onto the ice maker, we can put the ice maker back into the freezer. To put the ice maker back in, we're going to feed it into the freezer and then we can plug in the wiring harness. Once you have it plugged in, you can make sure that the fill tube goes into the fill cup. And then we can lift it up and put it on the mounting screws. Once you have it on the screws, we can grab the Phillips screwdriver and tighten the screws down. Then we can put in the lower screw. Now that we have the ice maker reinstalled, we can put the ice bucket back in. To put the ice bucket in, all you have to do is line it up on the shelves and slide it back into place. Once you have it all the way in, we can close the freezer door, plug the refrigerator back in, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.